Hunt is on for suspects in two separate sexual assaults in Metro Detroit. Right now, police don't believe the cases are connected, but say there are similarities in both instances. The most recent attack happened on Woodmount near Grand River. Police say a woman knocked on her door around 2 a.m. When she answered, a man forced his way in and sexually assaulted her before robbing her at gunpoint. People in the area are now fearful. This neighborhood is pretty quiet. Um, just coming home, finding out something like this, it's pretty deep, you know. The incident is similar to the one that happened last Thursday in Wayne when police say a man followed the woman home and forced his way inside, sexually assaulting her before running away. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell live at the uh, Martial Arts Training Studio in Detroit where they're working to prepare students to face terrible situations just like this. Kim. I'm at MKG Detroit in Ferndale and they say it's all about training. With a little bit of training, you'll be able to defend yourself even against someone who's much bigger than you. They are two separate and terrifying incidents. One happened last Thursday night in Wayne near Michigan Avenue and Merriman. A woman says as she walked home, a man followed her to her house, then forced his way in and sexually assaulted her. The other happened in the area of Woodmont and Grand River in Detroit. Again, a woman says a man forced his way into her home and assaulted her. It's not about being bigger and stronger and all those things. It's about being able to, in that moment, know precisely how to respond and being able to do so quickly, efficiently, and then get safely out of that situation. MRI House Connect and Kurt Cornell own MKG Detroit, a martial arts studio in Ferndale. Today they gave us a crash course in self-defense. It isn't about beating up your opponent. It is about survival. So what you're doing is getting used to a series of shots to the eyes like that, right? that causes the head to go back and can make space for shots like something to the groin or from here something to the throat. They sparred as they teach their students to do. It is about teaching your body to respond to a threat by taking aim at weak spots such as the groin, neck or eye. There are automatic responses that it doesn't have to do with how tough you are. If you get poked in the eye, they're going to respond to that and it might give you just enough time to run and escape safely. Now here at MKG Detroit, trainers say there's a big difference between self-defense and martial arts. Self-defense is about protecting yourself and escaping, and you can learn those skills much more quickly than martial arts. So don't be intimidated. Maybe try out a class. Reporting live in Ferndale, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, Kim, thank you so much. Well, only on 7